Hey guys, this is Med Monkey Man, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode, we uh, killed Kaga, the leader of the Druids. Alright guys, so basically, we need to uh, do here is we need to go defeat the goblins, which are actually um, over uh, this way, it looks like. Also, it uh, looks like, apparently, if you unequip the shield, uh, he's actually... Uh, two hands the spear. I didn't know that, so yeah, we're gonna two hand the spear for now. Uh, from now on, wait, 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 hold on. Where's the concealed hatch? Wait, what's it? Yo, there's stairs. I didn't see that. That's actually pretty interesting. Though I would have probably noticed it if I had zoomed out. Zooming in is more immersive. Also, I really need to get another party member. Apparently, you can have like four people in your group at the same time. However, I think if we take a rest, Zevlor's group is going to die. So, Cragged Rock. Where the heck am I going? Can we actually go this way? Looks kind of like it. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, Paul. Oh, not, not invited to what? Surviving tieflings have left the grove. They won't need our help now. Well, did the grove get sealed off? Oh, Norella's down here. Oh, why are you attacking me? Why don't you go down here real quick? 85%. Wow. Darian, kind of dumb, huh? Run down there. Got your crossbow, 65%. Eh, yeah, go ahead. On my way. I guess run up. <sighs> yeah, just. There we go. Okay, well, we're gonna take a long rest. Hopefully this will help me get unstuck. I don't know. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. You seem more relaxed. I am. I've been thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over uh it doesn't have to be we can still travel together good i don't want you to run off just yet you're quite the ally after all traversing avernus surviving the crash surviving everything that's followed i'm not easily impressed by people but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Uh, I'm just trying to survive, like you. Yes. We're more similar than I thought. Are you feeling all right? <laughs> hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. You want more of my blood, don't you? Of course you do. There you are. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Uh, how are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? No hesitation. I'd just end your misery then and there. Wise. <laughs> Though, I hope you'd miss me after I'm gone. I think I would if the positions were reversed. But you're right. If we're to make it through all this, there can be no room for hesitation. You're doing well. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. Let's go to bed. Swear, if I'm back, if I'm back stuck here, I forgot I could have just teleported. 
I feel so dumb. See, I was over here. -ish. I forgot there were fast travel points. Oh, I could have, I could have done a fast travel point. A sweetheart, perhaps? No sweethearts, no. I prefer them savory. This is what I get for trying to strike up conversation. Oh wow! Look, it's a it's a dead boar. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. That is odd. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. Oh, potatoes! Take the potatoes. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Yeah, looks like it. Were they heading to the druid's grove? Ooh, burning hands, magic missile. Let's head this way. Oh. Something's waiting up ahead. Orange and gold. Shift C to hide your whole party. Huh? Oh, that's right. Okay. Head over here. I think we can avoid eyesight unless one of them is kind of stupid. What do we have here? I don't know who's looking at us. Probably sneak up here. Actually, I should probably be using. Oh shoot! You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. <laughs> A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Probe the goblin's thoughts. Okay. Add bonus. Add my guidance bonus. Actually, that's from Shadowheart. But anyway, let's see. Can I? I can do this. I'm turning into a mind reader. It's bollocks. Fezzik. Fun in her hand when I'm stuck dealing with yobs. I'm here to see Fezzik. That a fact? He's at the windmill, mucking about. Wouldn't stray again if I were you. Oh, wonderful. Huh. Haven't seen that game in years. Let's head this way. That was a very easy way to avoid that fight. Dang, I feel bad looting these bodies, but eh, I'll need this more than you will. Looks like there is a this is a whole goblin encampment. These goblins gonna attack most definitely. So we're gonna Oi, Thicko! This is off limits! Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. Goblins ahead. Yeah, no kidding. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. They're not gonna see me over here, are they? <laughs> oh, sh well, traps. How considerate. Yeah. Oh, stupid. How do I get out of this? Disarm. Actually, no, I don't want to disarm this. This needs to. <sighs> wow, Hysterian. Okay, just. Just Did I. Did I die? Dude! Oh my gosh. Uh, that's not good. Fine, we're taking a full rest now. Oh my gosh. That was that was not good. We're not gonna bother going here. So we've got two more scrolls of Revivifies. I don't want my character to die. <laughs> Cause yikes, that was not good. Unless you got another reason to be here. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Lithid, wisdom, stand aside. I sh Oh, I, I got this. This wasn't even that hard. Okay. I. Um. Down, Claw! Bad girl! Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. 
Uh, I'm looking for a druid named Halzen. Where is he? I don't know any Halzen, your excellness. Uh, I heard he was captured breaking into this very camp. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead, he's in the pits with the rest of them. The pits? He couldn't be somewhat pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Uh, tell me, what can I expect inside? Lads are celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We captured a duke, we did. All the way from the city. I, I'm sure the higher-ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, your excellness. The boss is in the temple inside. Uh, Mithara, too. And, and Priestess Gug can show you how many new recruits we got. Well, that's wonderful. Shadowheart, what do you have to say? So the temple allows us to influence others. How very interesting. Don't get too excited. Influence comes at a cost. And until we know what that cost is, the only reasonable approach is a cautious one. <clears throat> you have the ability to manipulate people, make them bend to your every whim, and you'd be cautious about it. That's no fun. Uh, these are strange times and even stranger powers. We should seek to understand them before making any rash decisions. Sensible. I'm not going to go over there, because uh, who knows? I almost died last time. Force field of parasites? Is that what's going on? Yeah. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. Oh yeah, Shadowheart had that thing earlier. Oh, you lost? No, you didn't lose it. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Yeah, right. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. Oh, come on, Shadowheart. You knew. You knew. Come on. Uh, you've got some explaining to do first. What is that thing you have? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. There must be more to it. I need you to level with me. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. Who the heck is Shah? If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. 
Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Who the heck is Char? I don't know. I don't care who you worship. Tell me about the, uh, the artifact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Uh, keep that thing safe. Seems we'll need it. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Uh, by the way, I don't know who Char is. Uh, Char might be part of, like, just D&D &D lore, but... I don't know who that is. With... Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul. Had let you collide. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. You move on. Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying? To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, this guy's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> draw Ragslin. Um, you broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin. We play. We. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Come on. Of course, man. My name's Gripper. Idiot. Right, yes. Not fool me. Oh. Well, I'll follow this guy because it looks like I got now I have like a little side quest to uh We have to find housing before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. Yeah, he's gonna be this direction anyway. Yeah, okay. You gotta keep following them, yeah. They're gonna be this way. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work. State your business now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh, I see here. I've got an audience with the one in charge. Oh boy. Hey, okay, add bonus. Guidance. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can do that. Oh, no way, we did it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Right. Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though, mate. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? I'm here for Ragslin. Well, look. Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. 
He's communing, mind. It's a step soft. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. I don't have to tell me twice. Dude, I wasn't intending to. Did I accidentally click on her or not? I can't tell. Dude, imagine if I had to fight all of these goblins. I could have never done it. Uh, Best not to do anything suspicious while it's watching. Can I talk to it? The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. Poke it. You sense no <laughs> reaction from the unblinking eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Was that a good idea? No. But I did it anyway. Okay, so he's somewhere in this circle. Keep your hands steady, three. Again! Again! Make it squeal again! Uh, I'm not even gonna bother here. Leave. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Are the goblins attacking us or the bear? The god! Get the god! Okay, the kid's running away. Spider's attacking the bear. Okay, the bear is in red, the others are in yellow. Okay, I think that's just to differentiate, like, just NPCs from party member. Just shoot it. Now, do nothing, I guess. Oh! Crap. There's, the, there's like big rats. I can't tell if these goblins are gonna attack us or not. I can shoot it with a crossbow. And turn. These rats gonna attack us. I don't know. Okay, what about you? Can you use the crossbow? Looks like you can. You missed though. Okay, it's probably gonna run out here. Oh, it just opened that. Yes, here. Go here. I guess just shoot it. Wait. Halson? The bear is Halson. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know Halson could turn into a bear. Uh, wait. Okay, we're trying to rescue Halzen. Okay. Okay, let's go. And turn. Okay, it's red. Is Halzen gonna attack us or not? We can't kill Halzen. Uh. Missed. Crap. Uh. Who are you trying to electrocute? Fist. Okay, at least you got him there. Okay. Uh, 
Looks like the goblins are kind of still distracted on Halzen. Who? Halzen! Why are you attacking us? Are we supposed to fight Halzen or not? Shadowheart, heal Rustel. Okay, I don't think he can do. It. Oh yeah, I can't do anything because I used a potion. Spunks a living bear is now a dead elf. You fear the worst. Could this be the arch druid of the Emerald Grove? He looks I like sure a druid, hope not. All right? Halcyn, I presume. He won't be of much help to us now. If there's any hope of finding a cure, it's not here. Not any longer. Uh, Spasm grips that's your not chest. good. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. You've broken your oath, Paladin. I At did? The close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. How did I break my oath? Understand, but I need to do a long rest anyway. What is this? I came just in time. You are transforming. Oh, it's the guardian. <laughs> I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Take the hand offered to you. <laughs> oh boy. We haven't much time. So listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. And why is that? Is it because if you like control the parasite, it can't control you? Something like that? A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. feel better. I promise. Uh, consuming parasites. My find mind flayer parasites around Feyrun and 
Infe infected individuals. You can consume them to access illithid powers. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. You better believe it. That happened to you as well. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. Uh, the artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Curious that you just happen to have an item that can protect us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate. No matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled. Only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Alright, let the matter drop, and then... Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Uh, what causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Uh, how would, why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Uh, is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Want to talk about all that's happened Fine. to us? What's on your mind? What do you think about what happened to the druid grove? That place is sealed off to the world now. I don't see the point in dwelling on it anymore. Not while we've our own problems to see to. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Uh, tell me something about yourself besides Char, besides Tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Uh, that's exactly it. Anything else you care to share? No. I can't. Okay. Quite literally, cool. I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. I want to talk about your Shah worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Fine. Just keep out of matters that don't concern you. I have no problem with Shar worshippers if that's what concerns you. One, I don't even know who Shar is, so let's see how well my charisma does. Does pretty well, actually. Okay, sweet. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shar, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. Nope. <laughs> uh, remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. You must fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss, 
In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? <laughs> we tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Oh, I don't know who Shah is, but maybe he's going to convert. I'd be lying if I said it didn't sound convincing. You should tell me more sometime. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You've a habit of saying all the right things. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. Maybe both, knowing myself. But yes, once we've saved ourselves, we can talk more on this. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Uh, I don't trust it. We should avoid using these powers. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Oathbreaker Knight, oh boy. What did I do? I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. Uh, who are you? I was the first. The first to swear. The first to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow. I see their jubilation. I guide their hand, Oathbreaker. You swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order. To protect those who value life. And vanquish those who would destroy it. Tell me. Why did you abandon your oath? Uh, it was not my intention. My actions had unexpected consequence. A lapse in judgment. To know the reason for your fall is, perhaps, to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. Uh, is there any way to reclaim my oath? It is possible. But such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed, and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained, and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. Uh, tell me more about these powers. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. Uh, what oath did you swear? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, 
such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So, I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. Uh, did you know what it meant to break your oath like that? I knew the consequences would be worse for those he continued to harm. What's oh, past is past. We are here to discuss your future. Uh, I don't want this. I want to remain pure. You may refuse, but this alone will not restore what was lost. Without light to guide you, or darkness to consume, you will remain adrift. Powerless. Powerless? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> the powers you wielded were not yours alone. They were a gift, offered on the condition that your oath was upheld. In the darkness, new power beckons. In the light, the promise of restoration. But in between, there is nothing. Wait, the oath breaker, the ones I had had the healing powers, right? Uh, I will not be tainted. I will find a way to reclaim my oath. Hmm. Until that day, I will be here. And my offer will remain. Okay, well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.